Welcome oh. back, everyone. To the tasting room. Same clothes. Different Same clothes every day. week. Today we are going to be tasting Maker's Mark. But what is unique about this bottle, so this bottle is a friend of mine. He and his wife had become ambassadors for Maker's Mark. So you go online to the website, mm -hmm. you take a quiz mm -hmm. about whiskey making and their traditions and histories. You can read like the little blurbs and excerpts and then sort of like cliff notes along from that if you must. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, so once that happens, if you successfully pass the quiz, yeah, then in like a month to two months, they will send you an ambassador kit. Which is cool. Like we have here. Yeah. Um, so basically what happens is they take a barrel, like after they've recently distilled some stuff and they put it in the barrel and they designate that barrel to be rhinos or That's to be cool. Brad Bishop or to be as our ambassador kit is to be mm -hmm. barrel number 822083 is the bourbon, the bourbon study. study wow yeah so in like five years they'll tell us our barrel is ready and we go to the distillery in kentucky in kentucky and they will uh we can get as many bottles as we want from our barrel with our bourbon study label that's cool and that's we, really fun we'll hand dip them ourselves no money to do this thing this is free you do have to pay yeah, i mean for you have to bottles, pay for your bottles yeah but uh it's free to be part of the ambassador program they give you a little manifesto of like some funny excerpts of how they make the whiskey uh things that are proprietary to maker's mark they also uh, give you a little barrel guide and there's an app for the ambassador program so you can see like where your barrel's at oh cool in different stages ours has just gone in the barrel so there's like not yeah much to note yet yeah uh the thing that's interesting about maker's mark is a couple of things they use yeasts Yeast. Like how we talked about Four Roses uses yeah. yeasts. They also are weeded bourbons. So they use red winter wheat for mm. that. And uh, they rotate the barrels. So you know how like when we talk about Blanton's. Oh, yeah. Like the, they're about, like, this came from the, Warehouse This came H. from the middle yeah. of Warehouse Age or whatever. So Maker's Mark continually rotates the location of the barrels. That's like, interesting. Every Give everything a little more of an even flavor. So all of them age at an even hmm. pace. There's no benefit to it being the hot part, the less hot part, the middle, the outsides. They all rotate through every part of Interesting. the Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. And business cards, too. A lot of business like, cards. A lot of business cards. So I, you can order more from the app, too. I can't imagine needing I don't know more what than you would this. even need these for. But, like, go around, like, Wayne and Garth, backstage passes. Backstage passes. <laughs> Yeah, and so and also uh, through the app and through the website, they have a couple times a year you can get exclusive merch uh, and uh, exclusive events at the distillery. I think and that's all those cool. Things. So that's really cool, especially that it's free. Yeah. Um, you just have to. Like, it's a fun way to get people involved in it. That's and learn a about bit it a little and get bit. Your yeah. Little ambassador kit. That's really neat. So this we have to wait for like five years for our for the bourbon study barrel to be done. We'll see if we make it. But anyway, so Brad and Jen had already, their their barrel was done about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So they went up to Kentucky to the distillery. They got their bottles. They dipped their bottles and they gifted us one of the official Brad Bishop that's nice. bottles. Well, let's give it a try. I think the thing that's nice about it is it's very smooth. It doesn't have uh, little to no spicy burn mm -hmm. on it uh, and that's because of the wheat that can be attributed to the wheat and to the yeasts uh that the yeast that sort of mellow yeast. it out a little bit but these are all blended maker's mark to my knowledge doesn't do any single mm -hmm. barrel offerings i think it has a warmth to it like yeah. a I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how <laughs> else to describe it it's yeah not, it's not like a heat warmth but it's like no a, no no mm, like like a, like a campfire, like a, like oh. a, not campfire, because I don't want people to think like a smoky, but I want to be like a, a fireplace that are inside of your house. Warm. Yeah, it's like a warm cup of cocoa or something like that you would have with this. I don't know how to describe warmth, but I guess it's a, it's the, it's a little sweet. Yeah, it's a little sweet. I will say that. It's definitely a little sweet. Um, and I think, again, that's attributed to the I don't even wheat. know how to describe that sweetness either. That's the thing. It's it's sweetness, but it's not like sugary sweet or this type of sweet or this type of sweet. Like, just a pure sweetness. I don't know. 
a warmth. <laughs> it's weird. Maybe Jen will be able to explain better to us what that is because they're like makers experts. They've been fans for. I mean, it's it's pretty years. good though. It's it's good. Yeah, and this is their standard variety that you get, that everybody gets in their bottle. Uh, of course, there is the Makers 46, and then the Private Selects, which use different types of wood staves uh, to make different flavor profiles. I like what it says on the side here. Anytime you're in the neighborhood, stop by and visit us at our distillery near Loretto, Kentucky. This beautifully restored home of Makers Mark is a designated Kentucky and National Historic Landmark. That's cool. We'll have to do that at some point, obviously to get our thing, but maybe before that. I think it's cool that they let you dip your own bottles too. Yeah, that that seems like a lot of fun. As far as I know, you can dip other stuff. Like you can your dip hand? glasses. You, I don't think you can dip oh. your hand, but you can dip like merch, like glassware and- uh, Why would I dip glassware? So the, like the bottom of it has like the- Oh, so it could be like boop. The wax, yeah. In Built-in coaster. Built-in coaster. Well. <laughs> um, how much is a bottle of Maker's Mark? Uh, Steve, I think it's like in the 30 or something. $29. Whoa, $22.99. That's, like, that's more affordable than I thought it was. Yeah, especially, I would say this one has a lot more flavor than other weeded varieties. Like you got Buffalo Trace is weeded, um, Blade and Bow is weeded, but that's got those very distinct banana notes. This is um, just, the wheat adds like a smoothness. Yeah. Smoothness and warmth. Um, like I said, almost no bite, which is a shock to me. Usually yeah. you immediately get that. And what, this is 90 proof, so this is 45%. So Understandable why this one's used in a lot of mixed drinks and things like that. Yeah. So I understand. Well, there you go. Maker's Mark. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Ambassadors. That doesn't change anything. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, you have to let us know uh, what bourbons <laughs> are you drinking out there. That doesn't change anything. That doesn't change anything. Has anybody else out there ever applied to be part of the ambassador program? Does anybody know Mark? about other bur uh, bourbons that do something like this yeah. too? That would be interesting to find out about. So please let us know that. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, you can keep us in our drinking habits by supporting us on patreon.com slash the bourbon study. Lots of extra content there, but thank you, Jill. Thank you everybody for joining us here and we will see you with the drink next time. Cheers. Universe.